Love News investigates has new police video from the day a man in handcuffs ended his life in the back seat of a Pleasant Prairie squad car. What you will not see is the moment Jacob Albright pulled the trigger of a gun. What you will see and hear are the moments leading up to the shooting in July. 12 News Emily Polfall is live in Kenosha County tonight. Emily Albright's family also saw the video for the first time today. They're devastated, Patrick, and still left with questions. Pleasant Prairie police officers were driving Albright here to the jail intake. Video we obtained today shows that Albright had a gun in the back seat the whole time. So I'm going to detain you for right now. Grab this. July 20th, Pleasant Prairie police body camera shows Officer Brandon Matz arrest 36 year old Jacob Albright at the Super 8 Hotel. They help me take him outside. He escorts Albright outside in handcuffs. They say someone saw him with the gun, and as a felon, he could not legally have one. Hey, I don't have anything not on me. What the? After a brief struggle near the squad car, officers search Albright. Anything in your pants pockets? No, I just have my knife. Then put him in the squad car. Albright's still in handcuffs, but officers see him appear to reach for something. Yeah, if you got something in your pants, we need to know about it. Even asking Albright. Do you have drugs on you or do you have a gun in between your butt cheeks? Albright says no. Officers ultimately decide they'll search Albright again, but only after they drive him to jail intake at the county jail. A roughly eight mile drive. Video in the back seat of the squad shows Albright shifting around, complaining of pain. Ow. These are making me numb, dude. At one point, Albright unbuckles his seatbelt. <sighs> Later, the gun appears in the video. Police say Albright pulled it from inside his shorts. As the squad car pulls up to the jail, Albright gets his finger on the trigger and fires one shot into his head. Albright died at the scene. He was able to change like positions two or three times with the gun out and visible had the officers just glanced back. Albright's niece Kyla Bergstrom says even with the release of the video, she still has more questions. I just want it not to happen to another person. And I just want some humility. And I just want Jake to know that he was worth the fight because clearly he didn't think he was anymore. And Emily, we recently learned more about the officers involved. On October 30th, the Kenosha County District Attorney notified the Pleasant Prairie Police Chief that there would be no criminal charges against three police officers in this case. Those three officers have now been returned to full duty. A police administrative review is still ongoing. Emily Polfall live in Kenosha County tonight.